hello it's Dominique today I'm sharing with you a project I just finished I talked to you uh, earlier about uh, the uh, wedding album I was making so uh, I made this album uh, it's uh, from the paper collection uh, wedding day from uh, paper house uh, so I used uh, about one sheet of each plus some scraps that I had from other projects so I had leftover papers so uh, this is a custom order um, just to tell you here there's going to be a cross stitch uh, I didn't put uh, I didn't want to put it before because I want I didn't want to reveal the name of the persons that are getting married uh, with their names and all the nice colors the same colors like the blue here and the blue here so it's really really nice so um, and uh, here I used a bouquet of flowers I use uh, Tim Holtz uh, doorknob for or uh, cupboard knob whatever for the the closure with the um, two pieces of ribbon that just tuck in here. Uh, here on the front I used uh, two little birdies that I buy at Joanne, they're uh, the bead strings and uh, also I used some of the bead, string, uh, bead strings also that had uh, those um, rings there, it's a chain of those so I use them every time I do I make a wedding album I use those and I had this little bottle, glass bottle with the little cork um, top there I put a feather a bird feather in it also this little um, uh, wooden spool of thread so I distressed it and I put some thread and I just glued it there I might add, add a couple of, of pearls but not too much because it's very very busy um, here also I made this big flower with some lace so a larger a wider one underneath and a narrower one here this one is really really vintage it's at least a hundred years old this one is a little younger but still very vintage and I used one of the uh, the metal flowers that I bought at, on um, again at Joanne uh, on I think it was the bead strings as well so it's a cover it's a chipboard cover it's a regular album it's not a flip one here uh, I used a uh, the my nice suede like fabric that I like. I made chains here. Here there's a picture of the people that are getting married on a chain with this little Tim Holtz uh, frame that I buy uh, at Joanne. And here's some uh, vintage stuff, and then it ends with a little tassel here. And the back is just this. This is nice, uh, very nice. Uh, the trim that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby with the pearls in it. I thought it was beautiful so I thought this would be the perfect trim for uh, the wedding album. And uh, on the cross stitch I used the blue, the two blues here on one of the names and then the two uh, shades of the pink, same pink as this one. There's like kind of two shades there for the other name. It's, it's really, and I had a couple, I have a couple of borders too. It's really cute. So if we open it, so first of all uh, this I would have made it uh, as uh, the um, uh, the shower uh, page to put cards or notes, whatever. But they didn't get they didn't have a shower because they already had everything at home, so they decided not to have a shower. So, anyways, I made that file. So it's a four envelope file. The only thing is that I forgot to not glue the last one all the way. You have to to glue it here. To like maybe uh, half an inch from the the uh, the edges, so that the last one opens as well. But it's still an envelope, but it's not accessible as much. So I'm not happy about that. But I think it's it's still good because you have three large envelopes, which is good. So this is magnetized. And I put just some pearls here, and I have my hinge system, which is the stack and fold hinge system that I did here. Uh, the, the second page is a an envelope closure. So I used the page, uh, the, the sheet here that have a big wreath. So I kind of, I had to cut it a little bit because it was too big. It was a 12 by 12 and it was taking the whole 12 by 12. But still, uh, I used some of it and then I just put a little decoration here. And this paper is real nice. It has some sparkles, some stickles on it. So it opens like this. So they can do journaling here. And here they have um, a page here, which is a pocket. So it's all green and... Uh, flowers and um, twigs and all that plants in the in the nature and here too and this one opens like this so you have this page here this page here so they're kind of um, photo mats this one they could still tuck a photo here and still have the border on the, on the, the edge of the photo 
and this one here is a double pocket so I made kind of two cards this one here is a little card I just took the two cards they had there I just cut them together and then folded it and then it's like a little card they can put a couple photos in there so that's in one of the pockets and then the other one here I did the same so I just fold it in two so they have two pockets to put more photos if they want to because I like to have pockets because they can put two or three if they want to and I also I didn't make any um, well I made a couple of uh, photo mats they can put a photo in there but I didn't want to mat them I don't want to take any thickness so because I, I want them to be able to put a couple of photos in each pocket so that's what I did so this closes like this and here also each page is a uh, is a pocket page so they each have uh, a sheet like this photo mat and they have a little pocket here they can put a little card maybe I'll, I'll just uh, uh, cut some nice shape card they can put in there I'll, I'll cut four of them and put them in there and then this can still put some stuff in here so those are going into the pages page two so here I made a belly band with a nice lace and I put the stopper and here I use a uh, piece of um, ribbon that says our wedding and I put two cards here two photo mats so I love to love you and then they can put whatever journaling and put some photos in there and they can add more because there's room for at least I would say five photos in there and this one opens like this it goes like this and here you have it's pretty big so here you have a pocket right here. I didn't want to put too many, no, no embellishment, nothing there. It's already busy enough and also I don't want to add any thickness so that it closes. Uh, it doesn't have a magnet but it's, even though I don't want to have, because after they put all the photos it's going to be thicker so I don't want to add any more. So here I made a little waterfall so they can put either a 3x5 or 3x4 or two small ones and then they can do journaling on the top. So I did that on every page like this. So they have all the wood pages on this side and all the blue pages. They're all different. This is a birdies, this is a zigzag or chevron, this is a flower, and this is again the little birdies. And here they have a page you can put tuck something in there. It's just glued uh, just on the bottom here. So that's page uh, two. Page three. Here uh, I had some nice burlap paper. I really liked. So I said. This is the theme because it's really burlap and vintage and country paper. So I uh, just cut a heart, sh heart shape. I punch a hole, put a piece of uh, raffia, and I kind of uh, distress the edges so that it's not just flat and cut. You can see the cut. So I like it. It looks like it's been used. So I made three of them. So here, that's why I make a, I made a pocket to put them in there. So I have accordion pocket here, and also on this side here. I made another pocket they can put a little envelope you can put something in there and also here I put some burlap because I thought this was burlap -y. burlap burlap and even the paper here looks like burlap a little bit or cotton whatever or maybe le linen whatever so I thought it was really uh, fabric page so I put fabric in there so that's the one and here I wanted to make uh, the belly band uh, with the cards um, the cards page but the cards were too small and they were like going sideways and there was no point I could have used some uh, cardstock and make the cards and cut them larger but then I when I was searching for my paper I found those nice envelopes I had bought at uh, Joanne a nice shape this is the shape they come in they're just brown but I covered all of them and then uh, I thought that would be really nice for this uh, for a wedding album so here you have one one uh, there they all have a magnet here so this one I put some pearls because uh, it's the top one but the other ones don't have any. So I covered the back and the front and I did not cover the inside because if you cover the inside it's going to be really stiff and you can't put your hand in it. So I thought that it would be better just to uh, cover the outside. So there's another one here. Like this. And this one here. It's a little tricky because what you do, you have to do is uh, you have to kind of push aside this part here catches in here when you're sliding it up so you have to kind of push it here so this is this page and here I used a little uh, uh, veneer uh, I think it's from the um, 
traveling uh, traveler time travelers paper collection it's a little veneer and here this page I made a big pocket and they can put photos if they want and decorate it with a piece of burlap here and I had some string underneath here and a little heart and I punched hole here and this is a little booklet I made with the, uh, the Tim Holtz um, uh, sleeves plastic sleeve you can slide a photo in there and you can put two like you can see on both sides and I put a few just a couple of paper or sheet of the, the paper collection maybe to do some journaling I think I'm gonna round the, cor the, the corners here and so you have lots of you have the small ones and then you can put tiny little photos here and then the bigger ones that are the whole size so I thought it would be cool so that's the page next page here this is um, Okay, just a pocket here. I use a nice, beautiful flower that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby the other day. I don't know which company. I put a piece of um, tool underneath. I have two cute little cards that I put in there. So they can do journaling or they can put a photo here, whatever they want. If they, do, they can use them as journaling for the photos they put in there because they can put a few photos in there. Or they can put a little photo, maybe just one and then a couple on these. Let's see, phone is ringing now. I was waiting for a call, I just came, I thought maybe I had the chance to do make this video. So this one here is magnetized here, so you open like this, and then uh, first you have, this opens like this again, so you have a pocket, let me get this right, so there's a pocket, um, let me get the little card here, there's a pocket here, and then a pocket here, and then a large pocket here, large pocket here. And then you have this one here that goes right in. It's a belly band with a stopper. And then you have this one here that's all that goes all the way in, down, and this one too. And it opens again. One more. So here you have again a belly band with a big stopper. And this is a top spot, like a, a side pocket. So this is neat. This one came off. So this is uh, like this, and like this. It magnetizes like this. Next one here. This is the reception, like cake and uh, buffet, whatever they're having. So what I did is I used um, the sheet that had the cake on the paper collection. Uh, I made a waterfall. I'll show you inside. So this is the flap that goes in. It's magnetized. So I used a little tiny little doily, paper doily. I just glued it there, and then I used the Tim Holtz uh, silverware to show that it's kind of a placemat, you know, like at the, the buffet or the reception. And then it opens like this. You can do some journaling here if they want to. And here I decided to make a waterfall on the side because I wanted to see the whole cake here. They can still put a photo, or they can put like corners. And if they put the corners, they can still uh, remove the photo and see the paper in the back. So I made this waterfall with uh, nice cards, nice paper. The back is all the same, but the front they're all different. So that's neat. This page here is for the anniversaries. This is uh, the, the person that ordered me this uh, album. She wanted to have a section or a page that would be for like one or two photos for their first anniversary, fifth anniversary, 10th, 15th, and 25th. So that's what I did. So this is my nine face page. So I thought that one flat would be for every anniversary and then the bottom one would be for the 25th. So I've cross stitched all the anniversaries. This is first anniversary. And this is the kind of uh, natural uh, canvas. So that's why it has, looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's a canvas that's made like that. So there's a pocket here, the pocket here and pocket here. So they can put a lot of things in there. Also pocket here, one, two, and then sideways as well. And this is big enough, so this is not in the way. And this opens like this. So here they still have the first anniversary, so they can put photos in there. So they can have maybe five, six photos of their wedding anniversary. They don't need that many. Uh, this is the fifth anniversary. You have a, a side pocket here. And they can do journaling here if they want to. And this is also, this face here also is a pocket for the fifth anniversary. This is what for the 10th anniversary, so they have a side pocket, so it goes all the way in there. And then this page too is for the 10th anniversary, and it has a pocket here. 15th anniversary, so they have a pocket that goes down here, and another one sideways right here, so this is a 15th anniversary section. 
and their 25th anniversary. There's a big, big pocket here that can put some photos in there. So I thought that was cool. So that was, uh, it took me a long time just to make the cross stitches, maybe two days. But it was fun. I like making cross stitches. I think it's very relaxing. So that's why I often, uh, maybe not that much this year, but usually I, uh, on the cover, I like to cross stitch the title of the album. Especially when it's for a person in particular, I like to cross stitch the name, the first name on the top of the, on the cover, the front cover of the album. And this is just a three, a three, um, uh, ribbon uh, belly band. Uh, I put a book here, but they can uh, put photos too if they want to. And I decided to get this one, uh, this paper here for the last page because it says forever begins today. So whatever is after that, it's their life. So it begins there and then they're going on with their lives after that. So here's this little booklet that I've uh, covered with this paper and they have like uh, eight pages. One, two, three, four, five, six pages. I might add a couple. I don't think there's a lot in there. I might add a couple. So that's what it is. So uh, it took me a long time to make this, especially for the cross stitching. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, I think that the people will really like it. I can't wait to bring it for the to the, the person that ordered it to me. Uh, and then uh, see what she thinks. So this is... Uh, a nice wedding album I was talking to you about so hope you liked it if you liked it you can put a thumbs up I really like to have thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can do so right now so just press the subscribe button and also you can see my Facebook page which is called scrapbooking freak because sometimes I do stuff that is not uh, on YouTube so if you want to see more you can see them sometimes pictures or comments that I put on my Facebook page so until next time see you Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.